It has been 30 years, almost as long as I've been alive and longer than many of you have been alive since the last minimum wage increase. My name is Samuel Ronan and I am running for president of the United States within the Republican primary and I am appalled by this fact. We have people in office right now trying to impeach Joe Biden due to Hunter Biden's indiscretions. We have Donald Trump being sued and indicted left, right, and center. And every other candidate in between is trying to prove that they are the next demagogue. Meanwhile, we cannot afford groceries. We cannot afford cost of living. We cannot afford transportation. We cannot afford our bills, our utilities. We can't afford medicine. We can't afford our medical care. We can't afford to take care of our teeth or our eyesight. We can't afford to take care of our mental health. We can barely afford to put clothes on our backs and food in our mouths. Yet, record profits abound. The stock market is doing the best that it ever has. More billionaires uh, abound every single day. And yet the citizens, the regular people like you and me, are the ones to suffer. Every time the cost of groceries goes up, we suffer. Every time the cost of gasoline goes up, we suffer. And it is because we are not being paid a livable wage. The purchasing power of modern Americans is less than... It was in the 80s, the 70s, the 60s, and pretty much going back into the Great Depression. And certainly worse than it was even 10 years ago. 10 years ago, you could still buy a house with an under 3% uh, APR mortgage. And in the 90s, you could have a moderate income of $50,000 or less per year and afford a multi-story, multi-bedroom, multi-bathroom home with indoor garage. That home is now $400,000. The minimum income requirement is in the six-figure range for one earner. How can we sustain ourselves as a nation if we can't even afford to live? And why have a government at all if it can't meet the basic needs of her people? That is the question that I ask and that I challenge every single other presidential candidate to answer. Because I can and I will answer it. We raise the minimum wage. We enforce the social contract between working class Americans and ah, businesses, government, the haves and the have-nots. We provide the services. We provide the labor. We are the makers, the builders, the doers. And we have proof of this. During the COVID shutdown, all of us were sent home for two months. And in that two-month period, 60 days, the entire federal GDP dropped by 34%. Corporations lost their minds because they had no cash on hand. They had no emergency funds. They were ran incompetently and inefficiently. And when we weren't there to do their bidding, their labor to make their products... For them to extort our profits and labor from, the entire system collapsed. So I say unto you, why have this system at all? Especially if it was written by man and written by these corporations, it can be unwritten and rewritten in our image, in our favor, so that we the people must never, ever suffer, struggle, or starve ever again. As president, that is my commitment and my promise to you.